Hello. In this tutorial, I will present a setup for CFD simulation of a bluff body aerodynamics. The setup covers steady run simulation and unsteady run simulation. Bluff bodies are opposite to the streamline bodies. They have much more separation in the wake. In this tutorial, bluff body is presented with a barrier. Software used is well known Industry standard ANSYS fluent. First, we begin by starting the fluent. It has two processing options, serial and parallel. In this case, I will use the parallel option. The setup begins with loading the fluent mesh. This mesh is made in ANSYS ISM software. It is a 3D mesh with around 2 million elements. After loading, the mesh needs to be scaled in order to have the units in millimeters. You can also check the domain size in domain extent. You can display the mesh to check if everything is ok. This is the surface mesh of the barrier. Also, you can run check mesh utility. For this tutorial, solver is pressure based and for the first part of the tutorial is state state. Turbo model needs to be specified. In this case, I will select K Omega SSD. Nowadays, this is a standard turbulent model. Materials are air for fluid and aluminum for the barrier. It is critical to set appropriate boundary conditions. In this case, the domain is a box with one inlet one outlet and the rest are walls. For inlet, 20 meters per second velocity is set. With turbulent intensity of 0.1% and turbulent length scale of 0.145 meters. These numbers are set in order to have the best initial guess. Reference values are set if one wants to calculate dimensionless quantities. In solution methods, one can set pressure velocity coupling. For a state state solver, it is selected simple scheme. In order to have stable simulation, in the beginning, first order accurate scheme will be used. Also, one can set up the under realization factors. Default settings will be used. One can set the monitors. Default monitors are for residuals. Also, one can set up for monitoring drag, lift, or any other value. In order to start the simulation, one needs to initialize. There are many options for this. The easiest, with not many user inputs, is to use hybrid initialization, and afterwards, FMG initialization. 
This way, simulation benefits in better startup and faster convergence. At the end, for steady simulation, number of iterations needs to be specified. In this case, 100. Calculate. After running 100 iterations with first order accurate, switch to second order and run it 100 iterations more. Also, select high order term realization. Since the flow is not steady in this case, convergence cannot be achieved with steady solver. It is necessary to run transient simulation. Switch to transient solver with appropriate time step. Also select extrapolate variables. In solution method, select PISO scheme for pressure velocity coupling. Second of implicit transit formulation. Twenty maximum iterations per time step and specify number of time steps.
After the simulation has reached statistically steady state, turn on the data sampling for time statistics in order to calculate mean and RMS values. And calculate again. After completing the simulation in the results, one can post process the data. Graphics and animations have options for plotting vectors, contours and path lines. There are also many other options. Thank you for your attention.